Hello everyone. Welcome to this Radar Opus tutorial video series. This is our second video. In this video, we will cover the searches part, how to find for a rubric from the repertory or there are two type of search engine in our software. The first one is basic search or another one is advanced search. So whenever you open your radar open software, it will open exactly like this on your main display screen. Synthesis repository is open by default. Synthesis repository is available exclusively in radar open software. The above icons are known as icon bar or toolbar. And these five icons which are present on the left hand side of your screen are known as primary icons. Consist of repertories, references, patient management, remedies, and families. So we today we will talk about how we can find rubric with the help of repertories and search engine. So for repertorization, I'm going to the repertory icon. My repertory icon is present in the five primary icons. So as soon as I click on my repertory icon all the list of repertories will start displaying here. Radar comes with multiple repertories. So I'm going to find my rubric with the help of Synthesis Adonis. Synthesis Adonis is a successor version of Synthesis Treasure Edition. Now my Synthesis Adonis have opened on my main display screen. So for doing the repertorization from this repertory, I will be needing few icons. The first icon is this binocular find rubric. If you click on this icon, you will get this navigation window on your screen. It contains all the chapters that belongs to this particular repertory. So the first rubric I'm going to take my patient is having company aversion. So company aversion is a mental symptom. I'm going to the mind chapter first. If you click on your mind chapter, you'll get all the rubrics. They are arranged alphabetically so you can scroll and search your rubric by scrolling like this else you can search with the help of this search bar start typing the first letter of the rubric you wish to see in front of this write down your symptom or your rubric that you want to search you can type with the help of these keys like your patient is having company aversion so write down here from c company o M. Just write down the initials. You'll get your rubric below. Now these three sub rubrics are displaying here like aggravation, aversion to desire for. Now I'm going with this aversion to. Now enter on your keyboard. Now my rubric have opened on my main display screen from mind chapter. Company, my, company is my rubric. Aversion 2 is my sub rubric. We have multiple clipboards here. They are just like our repertory sheet. For repertorization, I'm going to add my rubric into this clipboard and it will automatically get repertorized. So for taking any rubric in the clipboard, we have three methods. The first one is dragging and dropping. You can drag it and drop it with the help of your cursor like this. Next two method I'm going to tell you with my next subsequent rubrics. Next symptom I'm going to take, my patient is facing the problem of periodical headache. So for periodical headache, I'm going to the head chapter. Write down here pain. Enter on a keyboard, periodical. Now my sub rubric is periodical. Just write down the initial, get your rubric below. Enter, now my rubric have open on my main display screen from head chapter. Pain is my rubric, periodical is my sub rubric. Now I'm going to add the second rubric in my clipboard with the help of second method and my second method is plus button. Plus button on my keyboard. As soon as you pressed your plus button, your rubric is added to the clipboard. Now I'm going to take my next rubric, next symptom. My patient is having the problem of uh, loss of appetite. The patient has been battling the problem of loss of appetite for a long time. So I'm going to the stomach chapter. Stomach, write down here. Appetite, write down the initial. You'll get your rubric below as I told you earlier. Diminished. Now my sub rubric is diminished. 
I just enter on your keyboard. Now my rubric have opened on my main display screen from stomach chapter. Appetite is my rubric, diminished is my sub rubric. Now I'm going to add this third rubric in my clipboard with the help of third method. And my third method is this icon, take the current rubric icon. Next to this binocular, as soon as I click on this icon, my rubric is added to the clipboard. So we have three methods. The first one is dragging and dropping. With the help of your cursor, you can drag it and drop it. Second method is plus button on my keyboard. And the third method is this icon. Take the current rubric icon next to this binocular. So there are two scenarios in front of me or in front of us. The first one, when you know in which chapter you'll get your rubrics, so you just go to this navigation window and find your rubrics from these chapters one by one, your rubrics or sub rubrics. And the second scenario, when you are not sure in which chapter you'll get your rubrics, so you'll take the help of searches. In our software, we have two type of search engine. The first one is basic search. The next one is advanced search. So I'm going to find my next symptom with the help of basic search. Type in English. This search bar is for basic search option. So the next symptom I'm going to take my patient is having the problem of coriza. I'm typing here. Nose, coriza. Just write down in words. No need to go to any chapter or find your rubrics or rubrics. Just write down in words. And you'll get several rubrics. My rubric have opened from synthesis Adonis repertory because I'm doing my repertorization from that repository itself. Now I'm going to add this journal rubric that is from nose chapter, nose coriza. We have several sub rubrics also like one sided, alternating side, right, right, bathing after. I'm going to take this journal rubric that is from nose chapter, nose coriza. Now I'm going to drag it and drop it. My next symptom I'm going to search with the help of advanced search. I'm going to my advanced search. We have this search option, search icon in our toolbar or icon bar. Just write down, just click on this drop down next to the search icon. You'll get this advanced search option. Now my advanced search have opened on my main display screen with four search bar with four different headings. So with the help of this first search bar, search word in English, I'm going to find my next symptom. Now the next symptom, my patient is having the problem of lacrimation only in the daytime. So I'm typing here lacrimation. One word in one search bar. And press your enter button two times, you'll get your next search bar like this. Write down here daytime, one word in one search bar. Now my rubric have opened on my main display screen from synthesis Adonis repository from I chapter lacrimation daytime only. In this clipboard, we have several other repertories. If you want to uh, read your rubric from uh, any other repository, so you can open it directly. Now I'm going to add this third rubric in my clipboard that is from I chapter I lacrimation daytime only. Now I'm going to drag it and drop it. Now I've taken all the rubrics in my clipboard. If we want to go to our analysis or repertorization, we have to click on this clipboard. You'll get your analysis or your repertorization, you'll get your chapters, rubrics sub rubrics you'll get your probable remedies you'll get your grading as well we have taken five rubrics here so alumina cover all the five rubrics and the total will be 13 if you add these number like three plus three three one three the total will be 13. natrium your covers four rubrics out of five and the total will be 10. so you'll get your grading accordingly now suppose you want to read any remedy from your probable remedy list so you can open it directly by double click on it like you want to read your alumina so just double click on your alumina now my alumina have opened on my main display screen and you can read it from here by scrolling like this 
as i told you in my earlier video our software is all in one interface so whatever icon you opened will remain open in different tabs now suppose i'm going back to my analysis i want to go back to my analysis so in this tab my analysis remains open just click on it now i'm coming back to my analysis suppose you want to read china from this probable remedy list so just click on your china now my china office analysis have open on my main display screen with a multimedia image of their plant you can read this remedy from here by scrolling i'm going back to my analysis so this was all about analysis report digestion how you can find the rubrics with the help of chapters how you can find your rubrics with the help of different search engines like basic search advanced search now at the last i'm going to tell you how you can save your analysis so we have this analysis icon in our toolbar or icon bar just click on this drop down next to this analysis icon you'll get this save current analysis option save current analysis to a new patient write down the first name and last name of your patient suppose first name of my patient is mukti sinha now save now my analysis is saved with this name mukti sinha as soon as we saved our analysis it also get registered in our patient management icon or index we will go into more details about the patient management icon in our next tutorial video this was all about searches part of radar opus our next video will be on patient winchip management system thank you everyone have a great day